Welcome back, my duelist friends. Casual duelist here again. It is Saturday. Saturday means tech analysis, and because you guys are the smartest and also have very, very good reading comprehension, you guys already looked up there. You saw the title. We're going to be talking about spell card super polymerization. So I think I talked about this back when I was doing card of the week and then uh, decided to rebrand and redo as tech analysis and kind of change up the format just a little bit. Um, one of the things about this card is just it's, you know, absolute utility. Um, we do have just very good generic targets for this with like Mud Dragon of the Swamp, Starving Venom Fusion Dragon, um, Dragostapelio as far as the part of plants. Um, the dogs are trying to name some other stuff. What was that? Um, they went silent, but I think they said something about even mainline decks like Shadals can use it. And they're right, believe that or not. Um, so just real quick, what is the actual effect of this card? First spell, quick play. Uh, quick play means we do this during our opponent's turn if we set it. Uh, cost, discard a card to activate. Effect, fusion, summon a fusion monster from the extra deck using monsters from either side of the field. You or your opponent as material. And additionally, neither player can activate a card or effect in response to this card's activation. Which means, technically, spell speed 4, guys. So the way it goes is like normal spells and normal effects. Then it's quick effects, quick play spells, and trap cards. Uh, and then spell speed 3 is supposed to be your, just your counter traps. Because uh, even quick effect monster effects don't work here. And then this, this is unresponsible. This makes this spell speed 4. Um, so again, kind of fantastic. Um... Let's talk a little bit about the pricing because, guys, you can get this one multiple ways. The one you guys just saw was my Dual Devastator. We're talking about nine bucks for this. Uh, the maximum gold, about nine bucks for it. The uh, the common short print from this Shadal Structure Deck, uh, listed as low as eight right now, market value a little bit less. So, like seven to eight dollars a copy. Um, the Cyber Strike Structure Deck. Looks like six to eight. So it's just those numbers flopped. Uh, you got the OTS super rare, 10 all day. Raw yellow mega pack, 21, 22 bucks all day. Phantom of Darkness regular rare, somewhere between this five market price and listed eight. Uh, secret rare from legendary collection, 17 to 24. And if you guys, for some reason, had the OTS ultimate rare, you're talking $137 to $161 a copy. So, very fantastic. Tons of variants. Um, so, really, there's there's a rarity for everybody. Structured X probably going to be the most common to be slung around. Of course, I went ahead and got myself a set of the Dual Devastators when they came out. Because I said, wow, they're going to give us a bunch of cards that are shake up the game. I want it. And again... It, this was how I ended up with my Ash Blossoms, my Ghost Ogres, you know, really pivotal cards I'm still using in every build. Um, and Super Poly just happened to be in there amongst them. Um, what was my tie-in this week? My tie-in was my Hero Gemini Spark deck. So again, just like the Shadals, we have, we have a fusion per attribute, uh, which is what allows Super Poly to be so useful in these decks. And not just in decks that are gimmicky. Because, again, you guys could be playing like that zombie world that my wife pulled yesterday. Uh, and that means that you could play Dragon Necrosol. Because you've changed all monsters on the field into being zombies. You just zap any two zombies. If you're playing one of my Layer of Darkness builds, everything's dark. So you just get to board as many Starving Venom Dragons as possible. And then just generally you play with whatever's in the meta. When Prank Kids were big, we decided we put in like a Prank Kids fusion monster. Uh, play whichever one you use. I think we I I think I ended up using the washing machine. She was using the rocket. Um when Thunder Dragons were big, uh I want to say it was Colossus was already out, so we were using Titan uh to snap up Thunder Dragons. Um and again, just you know, so forth so forth and so on. Uh one of the better ones right now is like Salamangrite, uh Violet Chimera, or uh AI Adagnister, whichever it is, Earth Golem. Good cards, great cards, all super poly targets. 
Uh, and again, I don't see this card going anywhere anytime soon. Um, it's just excellent. It goes into so many decks. It is great for sideboard if you didn't have the room in there, but you still mainline the fusions. Uh, it's just all good. So real quick, that said, I hope that you guys stop by again tomorrow. I want to thank you for stopping by today. Tomorrow we're going to have a new Speed Duel deck out. And then, of course, we're going to spotlight one of the cards that we use in there. Um, and then Adam and his kid, you guys are going to ask me for the uh, how to build it using only the cards from the GX box. So once you guys comment, I should be able to fire you that response pretty quickly. Uh, so if you guys want that list as well, that one will be hidden in the comments. Um, but yeah, everybody just have a great day. Thanks for stopping by. If you want to support the channel, uh, best thing to do is subscribe. Next best things are comment, throw a like, uh, let your friends know, but go do something for yourself today, guys, and enjoy it. All right. Hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow. Later.